I was a bit intense back then, you know. Um, yeah. Well, I mean, I think I don't I'm know how much. Listen, listen, listen to me. I'm yeah, like, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that that was like the I would say the adjective because to frame it up a little bit, like basically, when I so Kevin and I both went to SCAD together, and um, your I know you probably hear. I don't know. I don't know how much this comes up, but like your class was like legendary. Probably still is legendary from SCAD like in the film department where it was kind of like, and I mean, I'm not trying to be whatever, but like my class, there's a handful of people who are even still in the industry, much less mm. like, um, you know, like really working at like a level that, that I'm sure they wanted to when they were in film school, you know? Right. Um, and I remember you guys leaving and it was just kind of like, I mean, such a crazy percentage of, of people from your class that are like, doing really great and making like amazing work. And even before it was like break, you were breaking into like the actual industry. It was just the work that was being made even at school was like kind of unbelievable. What's your, what's your kind of like uh, memory of, of all of that? Does it seem like that to you or is it something like that I'm making up as an underclassman? No, I mean, I think, I think that's pretty accurate. You know, I want to, I mean, honestly, you know, looking at, looking back at that moment in time, like, you know, it's easy to recognize exactly what you're saying, that there was a tremendous amount of talent for some yeah, yeah. insane reason. reason. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that was like culminating around a couple of those years there. I mean, r- right above us, I think the class above us had the Ross brothers, you know, basically yeah. Um, yeah. who are doing fantastic work right now. Yeah. Um, and a slew of other filmmakers too, but it was in this kind of period of years where, yeah, again, for whatever reason, that school managed to like, you know, um, manifest like a tremendous amount of talent, especially within the film department. Um, and a lot of us, Here's what I'll say. I think this is this is what I'll, this is you know me giving the school a real pat on the back. Um, they really fostered um, relationships, like interdisciplinary relationships. Yeah, I liked I liked the experience so very much because um, we were provided the opportunity to mingle with other departments. It was very much an art school in that sense. You know, yeah. it, it, you know it's it had a great film program in that there were some tremendous professors who I, I still regard extremely highly. Um, and I have to, ask who I have to ask who Lubomir, Michael is Cheney, he's, he's still there. Bear Brown, uh, Lubo is still there. I mean, at least as far as like two years ago, he was still there. I remember right. I, I actually, I saw him at the Savannah film festival. We, it was a, a beautiful experience. Like out of oh. like, yeah, it was, a fant- it was like out of like a Gus Van Sant movie or something, like kind of going back and like <laughs> yeah. talking. You know, it was really incredible. Um, I mean, I yeah, I I have nothing but absolute respect for for all of these people. Did you ever see Lub? Did you ever um, almost said Lubo? Did you ever have a class with Roger Rawlings? No, Cinema Studies. No, maybe mm-hmm. it was after. No. Mm-hmm. Did you ever take any of those classes? Yes. Um, I mean, I recall Cinema Studies. Yeah, there was one. Oh God. Early on, I had a cinema studies class. That's where I met John Lynn, actually, uh, our buddy John Lynn. Yeah. Um, I forgot the professor. She was great. Um, but that was so early into my my college career there. Um, I remember my art history classes like very well um, with Selena <laughs> Jeffries and Emeka <laughs> Nanawe. Like the, they, that, those were those were classes I really um, took to. Well, that's what's great about SCAD too is like, no know, doubt. I took like 3D design and it like changed yeah. my life, you know? There you go. Yeah, exactly. I mean, on uh, it was like this double edged sword for me because, on one hand, like I absolutely appreciated the like the liberty that came with it and almost the kind of not just liberty, but there was like, this feeling that like you're going to land on your own two feet no matter, no matter what you do here, right? Yeah it really instilled the desire or not the desire as much as the, the idea that, you know, it's what you make of it. It's like Jodie Foster says in contact, like she's like, life is what you make of it. And it's like very much, very much true. It's like, I don't think you, you have to want, like quote somebody that specific for that line. <laughs> I love that movie. I watched that movie. It's speaking of Moneyball contact is a film. 
that I will watch uh, on any on any day, whether I'm like super <laughs> sad or not. And I'll just put that movie on. I'll probably put it on after this. <laughs>